Good evening, Maximo. How are you? Good evening, Maximo. Hello, Maximo. Can you hear me? So you're having some connectivity issues? All right. Well, I hope you can hear me. I can't hear you at all, Maximo. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, thank you so much for being here on time. It's 8 o'clock. We're going to start off with an introduction video for Section 2. Okay, so this is a little bit about what we're going to see and learn today. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers. But it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient, <laughs> right next to campus. But that can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year, and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. The people can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends, and during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside? You mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside, too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside, too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. So I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. 
I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. Okay. So, Maximo, tell me a little about a little bit about the video. What did you understand from the video? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Maximo. Uh, teacher, I didn't s s watch from the start. Uh huh. It's okay. Tell me what you got. She, she, she is talking about mm -hmm. the environment of the coffee shop. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Environment. The environment. 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 Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Of the coffee shop. Uh, she described the people and her and his activities in the co in the coffee shop mm -hmm. the beverage mm -hmm. the type of music only teacher very good that's very good maximo yes that's it that's the idea that we're going to learn today exactly what you are describing maximo today we're going to be learning to describe, we're going to use infinitive clauses to describe purpose. You are correct. She talked about music. Uh, she talked about the food, the drinks, the different things. That is part of our today's lesson is learning how to give reasons, how to explain things, right? So okay. many times in English, we use things with because, because, because. But there are other ways to explain how things are done or why. And that's what we're going to learn today how to describe other ways, okay? Okay. All right, excellent. Anna, good evening, how are you? Anna, no, no connection. Daniel, how about you? How are you, Daniel? Hello, good night. All right, good evening. Uh, good evening, yes. There yes, you everyone. go, there you go, Daniel, <laughs> excellent. And right now we're gonna learn about describing for purpose. Here we go. Hi, for you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose, infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. So if we're looking and we're learning right now, we see that we use two with verbs, two with activities. We use four, and then we describe the noun, the thing that we're talking about. So two is the action, and four is the activity, right? So to run a popular internet cafe. Or I can change and say for um, an internet cafe to run, ah, this is the other way to use it, okay? So we can use four or two. And these are going to be a little bit of ideas that we start off with today. Daniel? To run is uh, similar to open. It's not open. It's more to manage. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause, to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. 
Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type your suggestions on our discussion box. Okay, so let me give you an idea how to use it so it's a little bit better. So when we're talking about to and the verb is explaining why, okay? So why do you study English? To get a better job, to earn a promotion, to change my life. This is the idea with to. You explain why, but we don't use because. It's to and the activity. The similar with the idea with for. In the case of for, we're going to use the noun. So for a better life, I need to learn English, right? Uh, for, uh, for a healthy uh, economic lifestyle, I need to get uh, more money or to get a different job. This is the idea. So we're going to use two with the actions. We're going to use four for the things that we described. Any questions at this moment? Can you repeat the, the, the explanation, please? Of course. So when we are going to use two, you're going to use the activity. Okay. So as an example, Daniel, why do you brush your teeth? To have a clean teeth. Te Correct. Teeth. Correct. To have clean teeth. That is the reason. Okay. To have, because we use the verb have. For, but if I use for, then I don't use the action. I use for clean teeth. I have to brush every day. Okay. Okay. Or in order, which is an extra form to say, in order for a healthy mouth, in order for a hygiene, you need to, and then the activities. But in order is is optional for yeah. For... In order is an optional for both. The same okay. for two. Remember for two also in order. Use in order, in order two, or in order four. In order is just an extra emphasis. Is not part of the structure. It's not a. It's not an obligation. The obligation is the two or the four, not the or in order. Okay, I will, is that okay? Yes. All right, excellent. So then let's go ahead and continue. Now here we have many different. Today, because we only have three students, we don't need to make groups. We can do it together and we're gonna check together. Okay, let's take a look. So here we have, for a health club to attract people, what are we going to use? It's new to have with music and lighting. Okay. Okay. What about in order to run a profitable restaurant? What can we say for a profitable restaurant? It's a good idea to offer desserts too. Okay. Maybe for desserts. All right. To establish a successful dance club. And that is the, the, the first one, first one uh, I say. But yeah, I, it's okay. We I, can make changes. It's not a problem. That's the idea for practicing. So then what is going to be the first one? Uh, 
and I see the the, the word. Oh, I thought you couldn't. I thought you could see it. Let me put it right there. There's the options. For. Um, I don't know if the the club uh is for. Uh... It's a good idea to offer dessert. Okay. Two. No, no, no. For number one, what is the idea for? Ah, number okay, one? okay, okay. It's because number one, if I put, it blocks the the sentence. Mm hmm. Uh, I see. Uh, it you need to keep up with the last styles, maybe. Maybe I'm not sure with that. Okay, okay. So with that one, we're gonna say the latest styles. We're gonna see in just a moment. Okay. What about number four? For coffee bar to succeed. It's a good idea to offer dessert too. Okay. That one for desserts too. What about five? What about for a magazine to succeed? It has to provide useful information. Okay. And the last one. To run a successful clothing boutique, you need to keep up with the latest, latest styles. Okay. So I see a couple of them repeat. So we know that automatically some of them are wrong. Let's take a look at which ones are wrong and why. Let's see. The first one, a health club. A health club is like be fit or a gym. Mm -hmm. This is the, another name for a gym. It's called a health mm -hmm. club like Bally's or Gold Gym, things like that. So obviously for a gym, you need to have the latest equipment, okay? If we see, the important is how we describe it. We use two and then what is the activity to offer, okay? Here, for a profitable restaurant, ah, for the restaurant, we need a chef. You need to have a good chef to prepare the food. Okay, and then the other ones were correct, which is keeping up with um, useful information, the desserts, the lighting, and of course, all of the trends. Only ones that we needed to check and correct were here, talented chef, and this one, the better equipment. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, so now I want you to think about your job and where you work and the position that you have. Mm. Anna, let's see. Let's see if you can activate your microphone. Let's try one more. Okay, maybe Anna is gonna have some issues with her microphone, but don't worry. We're gonna continue on and try it with us. So, uh, Daniel, where do you work? It's marketing. In marketing. Okay, what what do I have to do if I want to get a job in marketing? Uh, I have to check all the informations about the users for, for have a good uh, advertising and and be the better strategies for the company. Okay, so that's what you do. But what if someone wants to get a job in marketing? What do they need to do? Yeah, needs to study um, um, Power BI, maybe. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how, to, how to explain. And that's today's grammar. Today's grammar is to help you explain. In order to get a job in marketing, you have to study da, da, da. Uh, in order to get a good position, this. To get a good position. For marketing positions, you have to. That is the idea of today's grammar to be able to describe your positions, your job, and the functions, and why you need certain things. So the correct answer is you have to, to study uh, communication, study, you have to um, know um, Excel, know Power BI, know, I don't know if that, if that, that, that idea. Or... That's the idea, that's the idea. A little bit better structure, but that's the idea. So if somebody says, oh, how do you get a job in marketing? Well, you begin. 
okay, to get a job in marketing, ta, 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 then your explanations, mm -hmm. to get a promotion, to get a raise, to get more clients, to uh, all of this is the idea how. So Daniel, I want you to create a marketing campaign for me. Okay, what can we do to duplicate, to have double our customers, to double the engagement on social media? That is when you use the grammar to get double the promotions, to get more interactions, to uh, you talk about what you need and then how, first what, and then how you're going to get it. Is that better, Daniel? I think. Okay. I need so, to, to put in so, practice, but, but yes. Okay. Maximo, tell me, what do you do, Maximo? What is your job? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Anna. I was a problem. I was a problem with my microphone. I don't know, but the message said the amphitryon uh, didn't have upset. Accept, maybe mm. but i have to leave the class and i have to enter again no but, problem no problem yeah. the learning is now it's fixed and now you can do it we can hear you perfect no problem anna okay anna did you did you listen to us when we were explaining no <laughs> oh for the grammar no no Okay. All right. So let's take a look. So the important is when we're using today's grammar is two and four. So remember, two and four explains why you do something. Okay. In order. So Daniel is going to give you some examples because I explained to Daniel. Go ahead, Daniel. Uh, in order to you uh, explain about my job. Okay. Uh, in order to prepare the campaign for uh, attract uh, users and and to have more money for for the business. <laughs> okay. Maybe that, thank you, but it's not a... right. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, maybe in another two, the um, the meaning is uh, con el objeto de o con por la por la por la razón de hacer algo. I'm sorry, Anna. I don't understand you. What what do you want to try? In order to the meaning ah, in is. In order to yes, okay. Uh, the meaning is co la razón de o con el objeto de hacer algo. Okay, and el in order for para okay. hacer algo. And and to mm. ah. y esa for is para and to es ah <laughs> I don't know exactly that's why we don't translate because then you get confused because you want yeah. to and you want to speak english in spanish mm -hmm. you don't yeah you don't speak english in spanish uh-huh do you and now what and now what you don't speak spanish right yes exactly the same thing because what happens is little by little you confuse yourself more Ah, si sí, tú es esto, pero en order tú es esto, pero for es esto, y tú es esto. Wow. And then you confuse yourself. So you have to learn, Ana, to stop this translation. As an example, Ana, how do you say prima? Um, I don't remember. Maybe it's... Uh, cousin is sobrino. Okay. <laughs> and prima is uncle. Okay, not mm -hmm. correct, but thank you. Prima is, is cousin. Oh, yeah. Okay, good idea. So, Ana, eh, I, I go to Banco Agricola and I give a cousin. Is correct, Ana? No. No, pero... But pero me dijiste que prima es cousin. 
what is the the uh, the sentences? Okay. Uh, repeat again, please. <laughs> okay, Anna. Let me help you. Let me help you in Spanish because you're getting confused. Lo mismo, yes. lo mismo que prima no vas a ir al banco agrícola y vas a dar un familiar para comprar una casa. No vas a dar una prima. Ah, yes. I, I understand the idea. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. different. It's, it's, dep it's dependent on the context. Exactly. The context. It's completely mm -hmm. different. They are two different things, but the same word, the same word in Spanish, but two different words, completely different meanings, right? Yes. Okay. So now you understand the concept, Anna, and you understand why it's not good to try to associate in Spanish. The only thing is that it, it helps you in the moment, but it doesn't allow you to do higher level process. Okay. This is like, mm -hmm. This is the problem that when you translate, you have the answer in the moment. But if I give you a context, ah, yo fui al banco y di una prima, uh, a gringo is learning Spanish. <gasps> Uy, El Salvador, son como África, regalan a familiares. Right? So that, <laughs> exact, mm -hmm. así suena cuando lo haces vos en español queriendo hablar en inglés. Okay. Okay. So, para que no suene así, no tenés que traducirlo literalmente. Tenés que interpretar lo que es. That's why, a la hora de hablar, no hay traducciones. Hay interpretaciones. Mm, ok. In, traducciones no existen. No existe en ninguna parte del mundo oral. Solo existen interpretaciones. Lo que quiere decir la persona con las palabras. Okay. Right? Daniel? Yes. That is, uh, that was my big problem before because uh, I learned English uh, uh, did in Spanish and later translate to, to English, but I, I now I, I changed with that, uh, with that form. For, for that reason, my English is, is uh, Maybe many, many strange, I think. And it's okay. It, and that's how we learn. The important is first, we need to stop the bad habits because the bad habits are what affect you from learning correctly. This is the hard part. So to help you a little bit more, let's watch the video and the context. Here, we're going to see the interview. I want you to listen for the words two and four and listen how they use it to describe the reasons or the purpose. And then you're going to get a better idea how to use two and four. Then we're going to practice. Right now, let's watch the video again and see the context of two and four. Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. <laughs> Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers but it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. Okay. Did you listen what she explained to succeed, the reason to succeed for the business? No, I'm not, I'm not. Okay. Let me make the video slower. Maybe the video is too fast. Let's try a little bit slower to see if that helps you. I have great customers, but it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. 
We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. Okay, did you listen now? Yes, maybe the location. Okay, is... very good. Yes. So how does she use today's grammar? She uses today's grammar with four, with the subject for a cafe and then the explanation to succeed. So we use four, the topic, and we use two, the actions, okay? So if she didn't want to say for a cafe, she can begin the explanation. To succeed, you can't be off the beaten path. This is the idea between two and four. Four describe the things. Two describes the actions for those. Let's continue to listen and look at more examples. Remember the focus of today's grammar. Four, two. Listen to the word four and two, but more important, listen to the word after four. Listen to the word after two. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient. <laughs> right next to campus but that can't be the only reason after all central cafe closed last year and it was just one block away from campus did choice put central cafe out of business yes and no we were definitely in competition with each other but central cafe didn't have comfortable seats in order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Okay, what did she say? And another coffee didn't have a comfortable chairs, maybe. Good, the pronunciation, comfortable. Comfortable chairs. Yes, it's, it's a different and another another lo lo located so places lo or another office location Anna pronounce the two words location and, and the other word comodo how do you pronounce uh, comfortable comfortable no Anna comfortable 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 Fair. Good, very good. The other habit that you have to change is not say yes, not say no, but repeat the word, okay? Many times in the school, they correct you, but you don't repeat. Ah, no es así. Ah, okay, gracias. No, no es así. Ah, so you have to repeat it for you to learn it. If not, you don't practice, and then it's difficult for you to remember. This is one of the techniques that help you to improve your English faster. And the idea is to improve faster and better. That's why always, whatever, here in this class, any class, always repeat the corrections to help you remember. Now, let's continue listening what other reasons she explains. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. People can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends. And during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Why do people order food? It's made in the restaurant. Hmm. One more time, listen to the question. Why do people order food? Why?
What is why? Let's start with why. What is why? Uh, the question. Uh -huh. What is why? What is the meaning of why? Uh, por, eh, por qué? Okay. So why do people order food? Um, she explained uh, they are com com comfortable. No. Yeah. Let's listen one more time. You're going to hear the answer. One more time. Let's listen. Can you put in, in, in normal speed uh, because that is slow, I confuse. <laughs> Let's try. Let's see if you understand normal because the last time was normal. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends. And during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside. So why do people order food? To take home okay. or mm -hmm. eating in the, or in, the, in the side? Eat outside. Outside. Okay, good. You see, that is the today's grammar. Okay, why? Always the questions, why, 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 why? No, because. No, because. Okay. Why do people order food? To take out, to eat at home. Oh. Why do people come to the cafe? To relax, to talk to friends, to do homework. No, because. That is today's focus. Explain why with no, because, with two and four. Let's, okay. continue. Let's continue listening for more examples. Explain why, but not with because, using two and four. Uh, you mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. So I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. Okay. So that helps us understand a little bit more how to use two and four. Remember the function. The purpose of two and four is to explain why something happens. So, I uh, Ana, I want to get a job with you. Ah, Ana, ¿cómo consigo un empleo contigo en tu empresa? Ah, today's grammar. In order to get a job or to get a job or for a position in my company or in order for you to get a position in my company and then the explanation. You need to study, work this, have this diploma. These are the functions of using today's grammar to explain the purpose or the reason for something, okay? Daniel, you are cooking eggs. You are cooking eggs, and why? Why do you put salt? Ah, okay, for eggs to taste better, you need to add salt. Explain why, but not using because. Is this better? Yes, I get it. Okay. Before okay. better, good. Anna, is this better for you? Yes, the idea is better in okay. that moment. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay, good. Maximo, how about for you? It's okay, teacher. Okay, so Daniel, answer the question. Daniel, why do you have a cell phone? 
to look my social media to okay. take a pictures mm -hmm. and uh, to to call my my mom very nice thank you okay um anna what makes a cell phone popular repeat please of course anna what makes a cell phone popular um mate makes makes ah um maybe the to to use for a for a social media so so we still have a little bit of understanding okay so here remember the focus is two and four two and four four describe the thing for a cell phone to be popular uh you needs to have a good camera it needs to take good pictures you have to have uh it needs to have a big battery this is the idea so you can begin with two directly answering the question or begin with the topic for a cell phone to be popular is that a better anna ah uh, yes for is the 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 use do you do you give right correct so four is for the topic okay yes okay okay all right we'll try a little bit more hey maximo okay and why do you have a car to move to my work okay good okay hey daniel how do people select cars how do people buy or why do people buy cars mm -hmm. uh, for transportation to the jobs or or wherever they want to to go correct that's the idea for the function to the reason right for the topic for transportation for money for buy, uh, all of these are for for the things and two are the activities okay any questions or it's okay it's okay daniel yes anna it's okay or more examples yes it's okay teacher okay good maximo it's okay or more examples it's okay teacher all right then let's continue with the next topic good now we're going to be looking at you oh we already described this one sorry here is the next one so we're going to learn vocabulary related to success and this will be help us to express ideas okay so let's take a look here vocabulary related to success first what does this mean what is success in spanish no try to explain in english when you achieve mm -hmm. uh, the goal excellent maximo very nice way to explain it yes when you achieve your goal is a great way to say success Excellent. So let's watch a few vocabulary words of qualities to describe success. Here is vocabulary. Hi, what qualities are important for success? Listen to the following list of adjectives. They will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable. Gorgeous. Industrious. Muscular, slender, clever, charming, 
knowledgeable, persuasive, tough, affordable, attractive, entertaining, informative, well written. Okay. First, let's practice the pronunciation and then we're going to practice the meaning. You can have the microphone off and only repeat in your house. No problem. Have the microphone off and remember to repeat. Fashionable. Fashionable. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Industrious. Industrious. Muscular. Muscular. Slender. Slender. Clever. Clever. Charming. Charming. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Persuasive. Persuasive. Tough. Tough. Affordable. Affordable. Attractive. Attractive. Entertaining. Entertaining. Informative. Informative. Well written. Well written. Now, are there any words that you don't know? Yes. Yes, uh, um, a lot of words. <laughs> go ahead. Like it. Slender. Slender is the synonym of skinny. Slender, skinny. Any okay. other? Okay. Okay, any other words? Clever. Clever, the synonym of intelligent. Intelligent. And thought. Thought. Tough. Tough. Synonyms of strong or difficult. Strong or difficult. Can you use in one example? Of course. This exam is tough. I couldn't answer the questions. Oh, my father is very tough. He never cries. Okay, I got it. Okay. Any other words? This exceeds mm -hmm. the, the word strict in English. Repeat, Anna, which word? A strict, a strict. Correct. Yes, yes, existing strict. Is similar to, is similar to cho, or is different? It's a little bit different. Uh, strict okay. and tough are different. For example, uh, the math, the math is tough. The math is difficult. Uh, maybe the in your job, the boss is strict. No difficult, no hard, but the boss is very square, follow the rules. This is strict. Ah, okay, it's different, yes. Thank mm. you. You're welcome, Anna. The other words are okay? Affordable. Affordable. Affordable is you can pay for. So in La Curacao, they try to give you the payments for $20, $30, so that is affordable. That is similar to cheap or? No, cheap is lower the price. Affordable is a price that you can pay, but no, it's cheap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. For example, internet. Internet, $10 is cheap. Internet, $25 is affordable. Okay. Okay. The other words are okay? For me, yes.
All right. Let's continue watching the video. We want you to work with us. Think of a businessman, an actor, and a president. Now think of at least two qualities for each and write them down. Okay. So similar. That's what we're going to practice. We're going to think about qualities. For example, for your boss, for a manager, for a president, for a, a leader. What are the qualities that a leader, a manager, a president, your boss, anybody that you have must have? They have uh, intelligence, a uh, confit no uh, intelligent li little little lead a lead a lead capacity to lead uh, oh. good ability to lead ability to lead mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Now, facility to words. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Now you have the vocabulary. Good, Daniel. Now I want you to give me the sentence and answer the question. Right? I want you to structure. No, give me words. No pupusas, eh, ayote, <laughs> revueltas, eh, comida. No. I want you to give me a sentence. What qualities are needed for a leader? The leader needs to have a uh, a capacity to <laughs> I, I okay. Remember, I corrected you. No capacity has to have the ability to lead. Mm -hmm. Ability to lead has to be intelligent or has to have intelligence. It's the same thing, Daniel, but you need to structure no word, no a leader, intelligent, uh, no, you need to use the connectors for, to, in order. You need to structure your sentences. Okay. Okay. Think, think about it and then you give me another example. Anna. Okay. This, please describe your boss or supervisor in your company. In my company, um, my boss is very intelligent and um, is very friendly with the with the with the people in the office. Okay. Okay. Good. Maximum. Please describe your partner. My partner? Yes, your partner at work or your partner at home, whatever, whichever one you'd like. Your partner. My partner in my house is my wife. Okay. She... she she is. She's honesty. She's honest. Okay. She is honest. Honest. Mm -hmm. She is very pretty. Mm -hmm. She is very romantic. Okay. She is. Mm, That's how fine. Do you say, how do you say talentosa? Talented. Talented. Good. That's fine. We're going to help you expand more. The, not only a short sentences, but that's good. At least we have the vocabulary. Daniel, please tell me about the leader. The leader needs to have a capacity, ability, ability to manage teams. Mm hmm um uh effective affecting communication with the, the 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 employers and and that's all 
Okay, that's good. That's good. Very nice. So we have many different things. Now we're getting better for describing the vocabulary. We're getting the ideas for it. Okay, so let's continue being, see what else we can learn for today. So now we learn qualities. We learn describing purpose. And now we're going to take a learn how to give reasons. Okay, different ways on how to give reasons. Okay, so Daniel, Ana, Maximo, do you like to go to the beach? Do you like to go to restaurants? Yes, I like. Yes, teacher. I like. Okay, good. Yes, what, I do. What is your favorite hotel? What is your favorite beach? Or your favorite restaurant? So My mm -hmm. favorite beach is Costa del Sol. Why? It has... Uh, big mm, uh, the type of the sand okay okay I, I like the type of the sand okay mm. <laughs> the, mm. okay for the type of sand mm -hmm. well good daniel and anna my favorite hotel is ace a A A C hotel in Guatemala for mm -hmm. uh, they have a uh, good food in the morning uh, because it for for is a uh, 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 eat eat free free eat buffet okay Breakfast buffet in Guatemala City or Antigua Guatemala Guatemala City. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Anna, for you? My favorite hotel in El Salvador is the Cameron because you can drink and eat a lot of food because they have a, all you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> like the buffet, exactly, the buffet. All right, excellent. That's similar. What you are doing naturally is what we're going to learn today. We're going to learn why the people go see or do different things. So that's the idea in this one. Remember, what is the objective? Learn ways of giving reason. Learn different ways to give reason. What is give reason? Super easy. Answer why. Why that hotel? Why that beach? Why that restaurant? That's it. Only give reason is explain why. Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Okay. Do you ever go to any of these places? So, why do they go to the clubs? What is the reason that they say in here let's take a look so we have this conversation and what are they talking about in the conversation let's begin first the main idea what is the conversation about they speak about the the soul club they have a fabulous music and uh, easy to get in okay okay and why do people go to this club what is the what is the reason that people like the club? Uh, because he's funny. And no, look, look at the conversation. No, it's funny. Funny is chistoso. I mean, there is no, no, no chistoso. No funny. 
because the brand is a new and modern and uh, and a lot of fashionable people go there. Uh, there you go. Good. Very nice. So those are the reasons. It's just a different ways. Okay. So that is the idea. Why do people go there? Oh, the reason people go there is just to be seen. Oh, the why do people go there? Everything is brand new and modern. Okay. So these are just reasons or other ways to describe purpose for things. Okay. Ah, many different ways to describe it, but the function is exactly that. Why do you do things? You can use different vocabulary to describe. The most important is giving details. Details is the difference between basic, intermediate, and advanced level. Okay. As an example, okay. Do you like pupusas? Basic. Yes, I do. Intermediate. Do you like pupusas? Yes, I like pupusas a lot. Advanced. Do you like pupusas? Yes, uh, my favorite pupusas are beans and cheese pupusas made of rice from Paseo del Carmen. The only difference for your language is how much you can express yourself. This is why a child has basic vocabulary. And when you listen to a child speak, the small sentences. Then when you have a teenager, you listen to a teenager describe longer sentences. Then when you go to a job interview as an adult, you have explanations and not much time where you can speak. It's okay the difference, how to use for basic, intermediate and advanced your language? Yes. Yes, teacher. The important is the details. Correct, Maximo. The important is the details, right? Like Maximo, when you buy the house, the house and the other house, the same, but the details, the difference. Oh, here have this line, here have this, here have the, the details is what make the big impact. That is what's going to give you a better opportunity to get a better job or a better position. Okay? Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you guys so much for connecting. I know that Friday is difficult for the people could to connect. So congratulations. I love that you are making the effort to connect and come. And I hope you have a nice weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Thank you and good night. Thank good you, night. Sure. Good night. Take care. Thanks.